Hello, guys. So today I wanted to try a little relaxing paint with me, and we are starting out totally perfectly with a broken match to light the candle. Today I am painting on a book cover, and the book is called Sophie's World. I started by sanding the surface so that the paint can stick better on it. Then I primed the cover using acrylic paint. The paint I used is from Schminke, it's the Artist's Quality Titanium White. The book I'm painting on is an easy written introduction into philosophy and I really really love it. It still has a very cute entertainment factor to it and I can only recommend it. Looking back, I probably should have taped the edges of the book so that they don't get paint all over them, but that's fine. It didn't turn out horrible, but if I would be doing this again, I would definitely put some washi tape or something along the edges. Now this is the first video I film in real time and uh, I am doing the voiceover on my phone so please excuse if this is not the best quality but I'm trying to level up. After finishing this I wanted to open up my new gouache colors that my sister gave me for my birthday. Opening up these little packages was very relaxing, but also very, very messy. The colors are very bright and beautiful, although I shouldn't have used gouache for this project, as the cover of the book wasn't very water absorbing and uh, that was a little problem while drawing. But either way, I love the squash and I am probably going to use it in a lot of other projects. The set also comes with this little palette, which is a gift from heaven if you ask me. After that, I started sketching out the outlines of the picture that I wanted to have painted on the book cover. I chose a typewriter in the foreground, mainly because I really really love typewriters and the aesthetic of them and because there are segments of the book that talk about writing. After finishing the sketch, I started painting the table that the typewriter was set on and here you can see already that the surface of the cover was rejecting the gouache, but I didn't want to give it up. After the table I started painting in the typewriter, 
uh, I had looked up a picture on Pinterest and uh, found a glossy black typewriter that I really liked. Um, so I tried to copy it on the cover. I was trying my best to give love to the details of the typewriter because I really liked its aesthetic. Little fun fact, I've always wanted to have a typewriter almost for two or three years now but I never bought one because I am afraid I will end up not using it. After that I started painting in the background. I started off with the sky which was blue um, because I wanted a sheet of paper to come out of the typewriter and uh, expand at the top so that it looks like a little world is coming out of the typewriter. While drawing in the sky, I was having trouble with the paint again. I then soon gave up on the brush and started trying to blend the colors with a sponge. I thought the sponge worked out pretty fine. In the end, I blended the sky with the background wall that I painted yellow and painted little clouds into the sky. Then I started with the landscape. I painted mountains in the back and little bushes in the front. Then I painted some water to create a sea. I tried to draw in the highlights on the waves and the little reflections coming from the mountains.
then I painted the bushes again and a bigger tree in the foreground. After that I started focusing on the background again. On the wall I wanted to have a little sticky note with 15th birthday written on it because this is a big plot point in the book. And then on the other side a little picture of a girl and a drawing made by a child. Without spoiling a lot, there is a character in the book that is not home very often and uh, I wanted to portray that he is keeping a little drawing and a picture of his daughter by his side and a little reminder for her birthday. I then tried to fix the table, but I think I kind of made it worse, but that's fine. After that I fixed some details on the typewriter and finished off with a few highlights. Then I started drawing in the shadows of the papers and the sticky note. This is it. I quite like it and I feel like it fits the theme of the book. I really hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you even painted along. I really hope to see you again in the next video. Goodbye.